In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how to get started in the Express Mode. When you load the program up the first time, you're going to see these screens here which give you examples of things that you can do in the program. You also see the two major buttons at the bottom, Full Mode on the left, Express Mode on the right. You can move from Express Mode into Full Mode. You cannot move from Full Mode to Express Mode. So we're going to show you a little bit about getting started in Express Mode, which is the simplest way to go. Let's click on that button. When you do that, it will take you to your file system to the last location where you were in the program. And you can navigate anywhere in your file system to pick the photograph that you'd like to edit. So we're going to click on this one here, and there's our photograph for this particular lesson. In the Express Mode, I have three buttons at the top. I have Presets, Express Layer Template, and I have AI Style Transfer. We're going to quickly overview each of them. In Presets, we have different combinations of coloring that we can add to the photograph. If I click on this, I have two options. I can use the List View or I can use the Thumbnail View. When you click on Thumbnail, nothing seems to change until you turn into a subcategory. Let's go to Color Creative. And now I see each of the titles comes with a thumbnail that shows what it will look like. And I click on that and I'll see the impact of that particular color preset on the image. And if I want to remove them, I click on Clear at the bottom. Now I find that since it's also changed up here when you make a change, I tend to prefer simply the list view rather than the other view. But I can click on Golden Harvest and that gives me the image. Now I also have a strength indicator. The default is 100%, but you can change the strength of the preset and dial it back to be less impactful or more impactful in any case. And don't let the name of the preset fool you. Here we're in Portrait. This obviously isn't a portrait, but I can use any of the presets here that I want in any way I want with this particular photograph. There's an Adjust Manually button. We'll get back to that in a moment. We also have an Express Layer template here. When I click on this, it will give me two horizontal and two vertical or portrait and landscape options. It also gives me a store I can go to. And if I click on the download arrow as a photo director subscriber, I can download any of the others that are available at the website currently. We're not going to do that now, but all you need to do is click the button. It will take you to the Cyberlink application manager and then to the website. Again, you also have an adjust manually button here. We'll get back to that in a moment. But when you click on a template, you have a lot more than simple uh, visuals. You have text that you can modify by clicking here. And you have, in this case, you have some lens flare going on and other kinds of things you can do. I'm going to click on clear to clear that out. The third category in the buttons on the top is AI Style Transfer. And here again, you have options. You have default. I've downloaded classic oil paintings as well. I'll click on this one and it will reprocess. And there we go. We have a strength button here as well. And I'm going to dial it back or dial it up. And I can clear when I'm done. When you're finished editing your photograph, you click on Save As, and we'll do that in a moment. It will take you to a place where you can choose how to save it. Let's go to the other two buttons and look at the option called Adjust Manually. Now, if you click on this in either case, what it's going to do is it will take you to your full version of CyberLink PowerDirector. Here you have different tabs at the top, and you can go ahead and edit it during the full version. We're not going to do that in this particular case, but I'm going to reload it so you can see what happens if you don't choose to go to the Adjust Manually button. So let's go back to one of our presets and just apply one a little bit to make some changes. Let's go to the Dreamland one and we'll dial the strength back a little bit. And let's say that's the photograph we want. We can look at what we've done in several ways. We have several uh, buttons at the bottom that are in every menu. We can show one or we can see the before and after. And in the before and after, you've got different views. You can go left side, right side. You can go top and bottom. 
you can split left and right and you can actually move what part is a before and after. You know, there's the labels at the very top of the preview screen. Or you can go top and bottom and you can see the before and after. So that's a very nice feature. You also have a button here that allows you to view the history of your editing, everything that you've done. And you can take one of the elements out and click on cancel and it will undo that particular element. So that's some of the things you can do. You also have some help at the top with some of the menus. You have a view, you have a viewer zoom here. You can also use the magnifying glass, which was what I prefer. Click on that and then you draw a rectangle. Let's click on that, draw a rectangle and you can zoom in on that part of your image. You have a hand tool where you can move around the image anywhere you want to go. And you have a zoom at the bottom. If I click on fit, it will bring it back to full screen. So that's some of the ways in which you can modify the preview screen when you're editing and looking at this in both the full mode and in the express mode. So let's assume we're done. We're going to click on the save as button in the lower left side. That will give me a couple of things. I can choose the file location where I want to go. I can name the file any way I want. I can choose one of three different file formats, JPEG, TIFF, or PNG. I can choose to keep the original photo resolution or not. And I can resize it to fit any number of pixels. Then I click on export and it will save the file, leaving the original untouched. So that's a quick overview of working in the express mode and how to move to the full mode if, if you so choose when you're working in PhotoDirector 365.